recording caught that. I was trying to say, oh, you'll catch, you'll catch what she says next in the next part, or something like that, or you'll catch what she says in the next part. Okay, oh, come on, after all that animal's done to you, you're just giving up? What's the matter, kid? Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared. And that's okay. It's okay to be scared. I feel like that encompasses a lot of other things than just this one situation. Did they just lock the door? <laughs> oh my god. Did they just lock- Oh my god, that's so ripped to her. Oh my god, okay, rip phone. Game auto save. Okay. Okay, good, good. <sighs> hmm. Wait, I don't know if this is a good ending. Everything is white now. That symbolizes something. I thought it was just gonna like end there, like oh she's just, she just has to deal with her anxiety now and stuff, and like she just didn't take it that far that time. She just realized that that was way too dangerous. Like she didn't take it too far. She was just like, yeah, that's way too dangerous. I'm just, I'm not doing that. And she just like, kind of let the anxiety win for that moment, which was needed, but in an overall sense, she let the anxiety win or kind of just let them tie i guess so they both won but like she let the anxiety win and she's really sad about it because she doesn't want the anxiety to win even though in that moment it was necessary that was it because this is a rational this is actually the anxiety you need to let win sometimes and i feel like she needs to realize that i don't know sigh so what the hell was the moral of this story I did we even learn I was being stupid. My friends were using me and we almost freaking died. Okay, she's self aware. She's like she like understands the situation, what happened really. I feel like a really unbiased way. <laughs> Not to mention the liver dare. Yeah, that was the worst case scenario. Yeah, I was right. No, 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 no. Because that's trying to say that's implying that you were right the entire time, but you were only right at that very moment when she actually needed the anxiety yeah that was the worst case scenario i feel like because now you got to realize that they're that these these are the things you need to worry about and yet yeah that was we survived despite everything we're still here oh i guess it's kind of like taking on like hey we were so anxious or whatever but we're still okay like nothing even ended up happening but i feel like they're not just referring to like the like about to like jump off or whatever and saying like hey like we didn't need to be anxious or whatever and like survived or whatever <laughs> despite everything we're here you seem pretty calm considering I, we just had a near-death experience okay maybe they're talking about that maybe a little um like the fox seems to be like saying like <clears throat> like we're still here after like all that anxiety like we experienced or whatever like we're still alive like all the unnecessary anxiety like still through that he's like realizing that like even though we like faced all those things oh so we went against him but we still made it out okay and he's realizing that <coughs> that his worrying was unnecessary so yeah well it makes everything else less scary in comparison <coughs> exactly exactly because because now you're realizing that there's a lot of other things that you've been worrying about and maybe I don't need to worry about all these things. It's also got me, like me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you. It doesn't protect her at all. It, it actually keeps her from things sometimes. And that's the from the irrational anxiety. If, it, if me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you, but me fighting you also sucks because it makes you yell louder, then maybe... Maybe we don't have to fight. <laughs> oh, oh, they're fighting the scoreboard. I thought he was, she was fighting him. I was like, oh my god. I'm not a big bad wolf here, but I'm not a guard wolf either. Yes, you need anxiety, but sometimes it can get extreme and out of control. I'm a battered shelter dog.
or he's been through rough stuff, maybe trauma or neglect. That's why I sometimes overreact and go, yes, yes, yep, 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 yes, exactly, exactly, Mundo. But I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. See, yeah, you've learned. This like is like learned anxiety from like I guess yeah we're getting like some backstory. She's had like traumatic issues. She's had trauma, so she's learned to protect herself by doing this or whatever. But we realize we don't need to do that anymore. We don't. We've they've had to survive. They've had to adapt like that to survive. But we don't need to continue doing this. We don't need to continue living like this. And she can have a. She's like building a healthy relationship with this fox now. Because anxiety obviously can't go away. Um, but you need to live with it. Like, yeah, you need to live with it. But, you know, you can't be crashing on your house and your couch 24-7. But you can be roommates. Or across the room roommates, like good friends. <laughs> I want to be a good dog. Human, will you help tame this wolf? Oh, yes, that is a really cool way of saying that. Oh, uh, I'll try, and yeah, I guess that's that's all you can do. You can't say if you're going to or not. Will you help tame this wolf? I'll try. I, that's like the perfect response. Like, you want to help yourself. It's like, should I help myself? And like, yeah, you're gonna try to because that says like that says a lot. That says you want to help, and you're going to try to put and you're gonna put the effort in. And I'll try. It's not saying that you're going to be successful right away, or successful at all, or that you're not going to be successful, it's just I'm going to try. Okay, healthy relationship with emotions. Relationships need communication, so let's communicate. Yes, yes, literally everything I'm saying is like coming true sometimes, and makes me happy that I'm actually saying the right thing sometimes. <laughs> the next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Dear inner world, how are you feeling? Total fear is used. Armed. Four. Unloved. Five. Bad person. Yo, that was a bad person, so it makes you feel like a bad person. Okay, yeah. Three. Oh my god. Oh, what fear do you want to talk about first? We can do the others later. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll make another video about this, so this part might be ended early, but I just want to make like in a separate video so I can like go off on it a little more. Okay. See you in the next one.